is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with a brand new idea for a video that i've been wanting to do for a really long time now and i think i'm gonna have to do it in two separate parts because this is gonna be a lot of figures man we're gonna dive into it today i'm very very excited today we're gonna be doing part one of our trip from elite series wwe elite series one all the way through wwe elite series 100 today we're gonna be going from elite one to elite 50 covering the worst WWE Elite in every series from 1 to 50. Of course, the part 2 of this video will be from 51 to 100. And I know we don't have WWE Elite Series 99 or 100 in hand yet at time of recording, but I think I have my thoughts pretty much figured out uh, about what I would put with those figures. You know, I've considered it, I've thought about it, I broke it down, and I'm just, uh, it's, two, it's the last two series, you know what I'm saying? We are going to do plenty of ranking videos with Elite Series 1 through 100 once we finally get those figures in hand. You know, we're going to do our countdown and I plan on ranking every elite wave 100, 1 through 100, you know, from worst to best. So number 10 could be elite 84 or whatever the hell it is. I, I'm just going off the cuff there. But today we're going to be getting into the lab and I'm going to be giving you the worst WWE elite from every series 1 through 50. And then we'll come back and we'll do a part 2 probably next week sometime. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know when the, the second part will be dropping. But it should be a lot of fun, man. But let's dive into it together. You know, we do have a criteria for this ranking we're gonna go through it it's it's the same way it is for my damn thoughts and stuff you have the you know you have your excitement level for the figure you have how it feels in hand the likeness all of these different things are gonna play a role but I would love to know your thoughts on my figures or my worst figures from Elite Series 1 through 50 down in the comment section below so let me know guys if you guys have a differing opinion I'm gonna stop along the way and explain some of them I don't have time to sit here and explain every single one of them but I'm gonna do my best and I will be flashing the figure up on the screen with all that being said man let's shut the hell up this is the worst wwe elite figure from series one through series 50 stay tuned for part two all right, guys, so starting off with Elite Series number one, I went with Rey Mysterio. Now, this was kind of a difficult one for me. I felt like that one and Edge was pretty close, but starting off with a stellar wave, you know, it, it really came down to Rey Mysterio. You guys know how I feel about the legs. Legs are insanely stiff. This was way before ball joints for the Rey Mysterio figures, and that's why Rey Mysterio's in Elite One. I mean, it's just, it's, a lot of this comes down to if I look at the full wave and I had a fresh collection, I didn't own any of these figures. If we reset, completely and I could have every figure in the wave I just had to pick one to leave out that's kind of where I am in this video with the criteria I think but Rey Mysterio starts us off Elite Series 2 I went with Triple H now this wave was pretty decent the Triple H figure is actually not bad we see a lot of what this figure represents nowadays it's just a new head sculpt but that's what sets this figure back head sculpt is pretty much abysmal and I could I, I had to pick Triple H you know I think that you know if you got this figure and head swap it it could be fantastic but this this figure's head is terrible, and that's why it's Triple H. Number three was a bit difficult for me for Elite Series 3, but I went with Cody Rhodes. Felt like his head just looks kind of blocky. Very weird looking figure. You know, this is way before the Cody we know today. Never liked the high socks look. It's just not my favorite. I went with Cody. Elite Four, very, very good wave. A very overall great wave, but I think the figure that holds this wave back a little bit is going to be the Big Show. It had the cloth singlet, very abysmal head sculpt, just not my cup of tea. Big Show was Elite Four. Elite Series 5, we see our first ever Mark Henry figure. God awful figures. Mark Henry, if there's an elite wave with Mark Henry in it, probably gonna be the worst figure. Un like, it's the legs are so effing terrible that if you try to even attempt to move them, it feels like it's gonna snap in half. I feel like they don't really get his mass right. I feel like, you know, he's too small. I don't know. Lots of things with this figure I don't really care for. And I love Mark Henry, but th this figure right here is easily the worst. Elite Series 6, I actually went with Gold Dust. This one was actually kind of tough for me. A pretty stellar wave but gold dust was probably the one that i would least likely to have not a bad figure and that's good you're gonna see that a lot in this video there's not a, not every single wave is just just easily this is the worst figure in the wave but somebody's got to be at the bottom somebody's got to be the worst and it happens a lot in the my damn thoughts ranking episodes somebody's got to go there and i got to put a figure there so gold dust just ended up with that part of the stick this time speaking of that elite seven john cena great figure and i john cena is my favorite wrestler of all time you're gonna see him appear on this list a little bit and his figures are great but elite seven is so stacked he had to come in right 
right here, and it's not my favorite gear. You know, had it been one of my favorite Cena gears ever, it probably wouldn't have been the worst figure, but I had to go with John Cena, man. It just is the way it is. You get all the accessories and stuff. These figures that came a long way, but it's basically the Elite 3 with new gear, and the new gear is not good. Elite 8, we get a look at Sheamus here. Head sculpt's very dated, kind of odd looking. You know how it is. Sheamus was the worst figure, in my opinion, in Elite Series 8. In Elite Series 9, not an easy one either, but I had to go with the Miz. Not really a terrible figure, and again, it's, you're going to see that along the way. He comes with the U.S. Championship. He has a rubber jacket, which is very common for old school Mattel. I mean, we get them nowadays, but it's not near as, at a clip as we did back in the past, but the Miz was the worst figure, in my opinion, in Elite Series. 9. Going to Elite 10, I went with Ted DiBiase. Now, there was like a Chase variant, like Chase variant, quote unquote, back then. I think it was a green gear and a pink gear. I went with Ted DiBiase because it was basically just a re-release of the one we got in Elite Series 2, I think, or Elite Series 3, and I just didn't think it was that big of a change there. I like the pink trunks, but Elite 10 was pretty, it had some studs in there, and Ted DiBiase came up at the end. Elite 11, we have another Rey Mysterio figure. It's in the all-black gear, just not the most exciting, you know. It's basically a repaint of the Elite 1 and the Elite Elite 5 Rey Mysterio. And while I typically like all black gears, this one is just kind of meh to me. Elite 11 had a lot of gems in it, and Rey Mysterio just wasn't, yeah, you know, he wasn't making it to the top right there. So, Rey Mysterio was Elite 11's worst Elite. Elite number 12, first time on the list for my man Randy Orton right here. One of my favorites of all time, but the rubber terrible short sleeve shirt. Don't know why they ever thought that was a good idea. It's basically a re-release of the Elite 9 Randy Orton, except it's in a worse gear. I like the black and yellow from Elite 9. This was just in black and red like the head sculpt just it just wasn't enough i think it is the i think it was the worst elite in series number 12 just a couple series removed from elite 11 we go to elite 13 and the return ray mysterio showing up yet again in the video man these old ray mysterio body molds were so terrible like i guess you're just gonna have to go back i mean if you own one you know what i'm talking about like if you even move the leg it felt like it was gonna snap it was like just it's just god awful man they're some of the worst figures that they made back then it was way before ball joints making their way into the Rey Mysterios. Well, I, I, we're creeping up on the ball joint era of Rey Mysterio, but this Elite 13 figure, while the gear is decent, it's basically like you took the Elite 11 and then colored it half white, and it just wasn't the biggest change. Elite 14, this is actually a shock pick, maybe, but I went with The Rock. I think that this figure, I just never liked the body mold for this figure. I thought the head sculpt was pretty terrible. Kind of looked like a Jax figure, and Jax had some gem head sculpts, don't get me wrong, but this one just wasn't hitting for me. I feel like the torso so just wasn't great. I love the jogging pants, but I, every time I look at this figure, it makes me so upset and ill that I had to put him right there for Elite 14. I can't stand that rock figure. Elite 15, Mark Henry shows up again, pretty much self-explanatory. Elite 16, the rock comes back again, except this time they took off his jogging pants. So the legendary Elite line that is Elite 16, the rock figure was trash in my opinion. And he also came with two different rubber terrible shirts, so this figure was all the round shitty. Elite 17, I went with Kelly Kelly. Pretty good women's figure for the time, but I think that Elite 17 actually had some pretty good figures in it, and I think this is the one that I would least want if I had to look at the full wave. Plus, this was back when women's figures weren't even close to the standard of the women, of the men's figures, so I, I went with Kelly Kelly. Elite 18, Wade Barrett. Ugly looking figure. Tuxedo overthrow jacket. Very ugly looking. I never liked it. Didn't like the gear. Didn't like the figure. Just overall, ugly. Elite 19, I went with Miss Elizabeth. Head sculpted is a bit too cartoony for me, and Elite 19 actually had a lot of good figures in it as well. Lots of classics in there. You had Elite 19 Shawn Michaels and Jol Dolph Ziggler and Daniel Bryan, and I just, I couldn't do it, man. This figure just was, a, it was bummy to me. Like, it has its place in the collection, but eh. Elite Series 20, John Cena comes back. You get a Money in the Bank contract. You get the hat. No shirt this time. I think it was in the best of pay-per-view build-a-figure wave this time with his full gear, and while I do like this figure a lot, I just think that Elite 20 had some very standout figures in it. Chris Jericho, CM Punk, Christian. So it had kind of a stud wave to compete with, and unfortunately Cena couldn't keep up. John Cena was the worst figure in Elite Series 20. Elite 21, I went with Ryback. Similar to, to Mark Henry, he has ball joints and can pose around, but I just felt like his figures are so odd to me. I just I, I just felt, I don't know. It, it's hard to explain. Maybe somebody out there can pinpoint it. I was never a big fan of the Ryback Elites. Elite Series 22, I went with Kane. Not necessarily a bad figure. It just had a lot of figures to compete with, and so Kane got the ish into the stick in this one. Elite 23 may shock some people. I went with The Undertaker. He had the rubber jacket. Jacket. He had a loose waist. And I feel like this one is just kind of difficult, man. They're, 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 this wave was pretty solid as well, but Undertaker was the worst one for me.
me. That's kind of all I've got for this one. Elite 24, we return to Ryback. Pretty much just a repaint of the Elite 21, and I still have this figure, and I just, I, I don't know what it is, man. I'm just not the biggest fan of the figure. I feel like it just looks a bit odd. I think that Ryback would really benefit from today's elites with double jointed arms and like muscular shoulders and new formulas. I think he would probably be one of the best ones to recreate using new formulas and stuff that Mattel does, but this figure is just blag them. Elite 25, I went with Sheamus. They've basically been re-releasing Sheamus with a decent looking head sculpt. The formula from the neck down has been the same for years, and while they represent him, it's just a boring plain figure, and it didn't really change a lot. Elite 26, guess, uh, guess who? The return. The return of Mark Henry yet again. Nothing has changed about this guy to this point with his formula, so I cannot, I can't touch it. Elite 27, I went with Fandango. Now, I think he's pretty poseable, but nobody should have that ripped up torso, okay? Just completely ridiculous. If you have ridiculous parts choices, you're probably going to end up as the worst figure. It just kind of really takes me out of the illusion of the figure, and Fandango's there for me on this one. I'm just uh, I'm just out of there, man. That, that is a ridiculous torso and arms for Fandango. Made no sense. Elite 28 is going to be John Cena. Very, very boring gear. Doesn't come with a shirt. Head sculpt is eh. It was easily John Cena for me on this one, and John Cena is my goat, but he's not my goat in this wave. Elite 29 easily is Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan's figures are abysmal. You guys know that he can legitimately not even, like, he can't even bring his arms in front of his torso like this. Completely unposable. Legs get pretty loose. Just, uh, oh god, not. If you want to contemplate life, Go pose around an Eric Rowe in Elite. Number 30, who, who do I thunk it, Brad? It's Ryback yet again. Our third Ryback on the list. You're going to see some guys show up multiple times on the list. I don't know who shows up the most, but Ryback's at number three right here, and he's at number 30. Every 10 waves, they, they release a shitty Ryback Elite. It's not shitty. It's just, it, you, you get what I'm saying. In Elite Series 31, it's going to be Kane again. Just wasn't a big fan of this era of Kane. I felt like the figure isn't necessarily abysmal, but the removable mask feature was never big with me. I felt like it kind of always sucked the life out of it, and I just, I, I never liked the gimmick right there. Kane's Elite 31. Elite 32, and you you guessed it, Brad. Who shows up but Mark Henry? This head sculpt I like. The gear's a little bit better. They're always black and red, you know, and it's just, this is the same figure four times now, basically. You get a new head sculpt in there, but Jesus, man. This one might shock you, but Elite Series 33, I went with Seth Rollins. Thought the head sculpt was abysmal. I, I was never a big fan of this figure. It just, just wasn't my favorite. I felt like they could have done a lot better. I thought the Elite 25 with the man bun was better with the short sleeve pro combat, you know, Nike underneath the, the vest jacket there or the bulletproof vest. The Elite 33 Rollins for me was always kind of garb. And so it, it's the worst figure for me in Elite 33. This one could be shocking as well, but Elite 34, I went with Hulk Hogan. You know, not a Hulk Hogan a lot of people wanted. It's a freaking street gear old man Hogan. Comes with two rubber shirts. Pretty poseable and like some good formula here. I like the formula, but that's about where this ends. And this head sculpt is pretty much, oh, it's not the same exact head sculpt. It's the sculpted on bandana, but my lord, man. Just not... Not good. Elite 35, we get a two-in-one. I went with the Los Matadors. You know, you, you get a pretty decent wave here, and it could have went either way, but these figures just, you get the long jacket that is unposable. You get the red cape slash flag that's rubber molded, so it's not even a cloth cape, you know? I just, oh my god, man, not good. Pretty boring, shelf formed everywhere, you know? I guess necessarily not terrible, but just not not good. Elite 36 might shot some people. A lot of people probably expect me to put Bo Dallas here, but I'm going with his brother. I'm going with Bray Wyatt. I never liked this figure. I felt like his Elite 28 figure was a lot better with the Hawaiian shirt. This one just isn't as good. Didn't really care for the head sculpt. Lots of different things about the figure I wasn't a fan of. I just never liked the way they did the torso to the crotch. It just looked weird to me. Elite 37 is Stephanie McMahon. You know, the women's figures back then that were elites were nowhere near the, the, the same sentiment as the elite men's figures. Articulation was lacking. You know, you had single jointed knees, the arms, and it had that weird slappy relaxed hand. It just, oh god man, just not good. And Elite 37 was actually kind of a stacked wave. Elite 38, I went with Adam Rose. Pretty boring figure, you know, not my favorite figure there. It, it's, eh, I guess it represented him, but it's just, it's just one of those that's completely skippable. Doesn't really move the needle for me. Elite 38 is Adam Rose. Elite 39, another pretty boring figure. Not necessarily a 
crappy figure, but Psycho Sid. Elite 39 Psycho Sid, very boring and plain Jane. Just doesn't get the needle moving for me. Another big time shelf warmer. Just, it just, I don't know, man. Like, some of these figures are necessary for the collection, but just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Elite 40, I went with IRS. I feel like if they redid this figure with updated technology, they could really do a whole lot better with it. I mean, you're looking at, you could have a new True Effects head sculpt. I think that the, the legs and, like, the suspenders and stuff, double jointed arms and different details would really do wonders for this figure, but it's just not my favorite. I felt like Elite 40 was pretty stacked, and this one just, I never had a lot of fun posing this guy around. Elite 41 may shock you as well. We have Dean Ambrose, and I never liked the fact that they went with the Daniel Bryan torso instead of keeping the same, like, Jeff Hardy style torso. The jeans color was a bit too saturated for me, and the head sculpt was eh. I just, I, I don't know. Elite 41 Dean Ambrose. I felt like that figure could have been so much better. Elite 42 may shock you. I went with Triple H. Now, I know he's got the Terminator entrance gear and all that good jazz, but all the, I've owned this figure like 10 times, and every single time it has a loose waist. It's not the best head sculpt, and uh, I just, I don't know. The wave was pretty decent. I almost put Neville, but I felt like a lot of people were pretty hyped for that Neville figure, and I think the Neville will beat it out slightly. I don't know. Elite 42 is not the best wave, in, in all honesty. Elite 43 is my boy Kevin Owens. Always hated this head sculpt. I always felt like this figure was lacking in a ton of ways. Uh, his figures continue to get better from here, but I just did not like this figure. You could put Elite 43 Samoa Joe here, but I remember being pretty hyped for Samoa Joe. I was excited for this Kevin Owens, but I never liked the head sculpt. It always really put me off. And this wave's not the best wave either, honestly. Elite 43. It's going to be very fun when we rank every Elite Series, you know, 1 through 100, and we get to rank them and see which wave is the best and which wave is the worst, like, collectively. A lot of these things are going to be very fun to see. Elite 44, I went with Sasha Banks. I almost went with Tugboat, but I felt like Tugboat's head sculpt was better, and overall, it represented Tugboat better. I like the gear for the Sasha Banks, but with the imposable jacket and the bummy head sculpt, in my opinion, I went with Sasha. Elite 45, I went with Lex Luger. Honestly, not a very good option here. For Elite 45, was a pretty damn good wave, and the figure I think I'd want the least is the Lex Luger, even though it's not a bad figure. Elite 46 is a wave I never was a huge fan of either, and Rusev is the worst figure in that set. I, this is my least favorite Rusev figure they ever made. I, I couldn't stand it for whatever reason. You get a cloth jacket. I didn't care, Brad. I just wanted to throw the figure out in the yard. Elite 47, Kevin Owens returns again. Pretty stellar wave again. An improvement from the Elite 43, but still not great. And it kind of almost made him look kind of slim. And that always kind of was like, whoa, what the hell are we doing right here? Almost to the halfway point, we're at Elite Series 48. I went with Eric Rowan again. I mean, my God. If you if you took a turd and made it a little bit shiny, that's what Elite 30 or 48 Eric Rowan is compared to Elite 29. Better gear, better head sculpt. Still not good. Elite 49 is Becky Lynch. I mean, just look at the head sculpt. Look at this. You remember that era of Mattel where they couldn't get Becky Lynch right if you took her. If it, it, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, they, they couldn't get it right. They could not get it right ever. A lot of detail this figure, but that head sculpt's abysmal. Elite 50. Do I need to say anything about this figure? I don't need to say nothing. Look at it. And that completes our entire trip through WWE Elite Series 1 through WWE Elite Series number 50. Again, I want to know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Where do you, I know we didn't agree. I mean, there's 50 series right there. I'm sure that you, you guys are going to disagree with my opinions. But of course, if you guys want to, you can make your own list or leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below if you agree with mine, what you thought of mine. But stay tuned for part number two where we will do Elite Series 51 through 100, where we will cover the worst elite from those series and i plan on probably doing the best elite from every series as well i would love to know your thoughts on all those things down in the comment section below but this is a ton of fun man i always like going through the old waves and comparing and contrasting and getting all those things looking at the analytics and the logistics of everything going on but leave me your thoughts down below on what you thought of all of the worst figures from elite series 1 through 50 and stay tuned for 51 through 100 man but i'm getting the hell out of here thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one. You cross